Welcome to the Buford News, I'm Robin Zimmerman. Coming up on our newscast, we'll learn about a virtual open house at the Technical College of the Low Country, and we'll find out what is hot off the press in Buford, so stay tuned. Dayta Island, a private gated community, now owns neighboring Oak Island, a 32.8 acre private island. Oak Island, previously owned by the Nature Conservancy, sits close to St. Helena Island and is about nine miles from downtown Buford. Ted Bartlett, general manager for Dayta Island, said an anonymous donor purchased the island for $650,000 and gifted it to the Dayta Island's uh, Owners Association. The island was initially listed on the market for $2.5 million but dropped to $989 thousand dollars in October of 2019. Now the private island features a 725 foot private dock with sweeping views of the salt marsh and deep water access to Jenkins Creek. Residents can access the island only through a private two-lane bridge inside the gated Dayta Island community. Hunting Island State Park has been closed since Friday March 27th, but it would be a mistake to presume that nothing has been going on on Hunting Island Park Manager J.W. Weatherford said, having the park without visitors or campers has created the perfect opportunity to get some things done, he said. Rangers are taking advantage of the empty park using tractors to move down trees and running stump grinders to get rid of as many stumps as possible, giving the park and campground a more manicured look. Now, with chainsaw work soon to be complete, Weatherford said rangers will begin working on the freshly renourished beaches. Rangers are going through uh, the beach accesses and roping them off, showing people how they need to get on the beach while protecting the sand dunes. Closer to the end of the month, the Park Service will install between 60 and 90,000 plants, such as sea oats, to help maintain and stabilize the sand dunes over the more than two miles of beach. Marine recruits are again coming to Marine Corps Recruit Depot Paris Island after new arrivals had been paused due to the coronavirus. Two companies, totaling 300 to 500 male and female recruits that arrived last week will be quarantined for 14 days. The quarantine period includes medical checks uh, twice a day and recorded classes to begin their boot camp. Now the base announced it would suspend receiving new recruits on March 30th to assess protocols about the, the spread of the virus. Uh, training has, been, has continued on the base, though, throughout the pandemic. All right, police in Buford are asking for your help in identifying a shooting suspect. Investigators have now released a sketch of the man who they say shot a 72-year-old woman while jogging on Lafayette Street last week. Police say the suspect is described to be between 5'8 and 5'10, slender build, to be between 25 and 30 years old, and was driving a 2010 to 2012 Nissan Versa. Buford PD says a vehicle has apparent minor damage in the front right quarter panel and the front bumper. There's also some slight damage on the right rear quarter panel. Anyone with information is asked to call the anonymous tip line at 843-322-7938. And of course, you will remain anonymous. All right, the city of Buford will be under a considerable financial strain for the next six to nine months after the recent loss of tax revenue and other resources of funding, and will have to tighten its belt for the remainder of the year. At Buford's most recent city council meeting, city manager Bill Prokop estimated the lost revenue would be between $1.8 million and $2 million for the fiscal year ending June 30th. The lost revenue comes from business license taxes, accommodations taxes, hospitality taxes, personal property permits, and various other uh, sources. As a result, the city has taken steps to curtail spending, starting with a hiring freeze, which will affect such positions as uh, police officers. In addition, the city will be cutting back on operating expenses, put capital projects on hold, and will halt overnight travel and training, except for police or fire academy training. For more information on these and many more of our stories, please check out the media sources listed on the screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at WHHI-TV. And coming up after the break, we'll hear from Carlton Dallas with our business report. So don't go away. <laughs> 